with Asana, you and your team can track all of your work from start to finish. I'm Tatiana from Customer Success, and I'll walk you through how to get the most out of Asana so you can get more done with your team. This video has four sections. We recommend watching the whole thing and coming back to sections when you need to. Let's get started with a quick tour of the product. When you join Asana, you'll be in a shared space for you and your teammates. This is where you'll add your work in teams, projects, tasks, and conversations. If you join Asana with a work email address, you will almost always create or join an organization, which is affiliated with your email domain. Meaning, everyone with an at Apollo.org email joins the same Asana organization, called Apollo Enterprises in this case. In some cases, you won't be in an organization, you'll be in a workspace. If you don't see the ability to create teams or you don't have multiple teams showing, it is likely that you are in a workspace. This demo will not be covering all the details of workspaces, as these are primarily for personal use or for teams that don't share email addresses. If you are in a workspace and think you should be in an organization, please contact support. Now that we have that out of the way, I'll help you understand the basics of an organization. In Asana, a team is a group of people who are working together on a collection of projects. Team names can include marketing, engineering, sales, etc. Teams are listed here. This includes the teams you are a member of and the other teams in your organization that you can request to join. A project is a group of related tasks. Within each team, you'll see projects that the team is working on. To break down projects into smaller pieces of work, use tasks. A task is a single unit of work, and tasks in Asana can be used for many types of work and information you need to track. Conversations are how you communicate in Asana. They help you move work forward. Start conversations in Asana on any team, project, or task. Use the sidebar to navigate to projects, teams, and views. Collapse this sidebar when you want to focus on a particular piece of work. My tasks is basically your to-do list. It shows you all of your tasks that your teammates have assigned to you and that you've created for yourself. Go here when you need to know what to do next or to plan your day. When you click into a task, you'll see the details on the right. My Inbox is an activity feed for all of the work you're following. Think of it as your notification center and use it to stay on top of your team's progress. The Quick Add button is the fastest way to add a task, conversation, project, or a new team member to Asana. If you need to add something or someone new to Asana, go here. If you need to find anything in Asana, from projects and tasks to teams and people, go to the search bar. It works like Google. You got this. You can also use advanced search to create custom lists of tasks. For help anytime, go to the question mark, our help menu. This will take you to the guide, let you contact support, and help you get to the other resources you need. Next, let's check out account settings, which includes the option to upgrade and my profile settings where you can change your profile photo and email settings. If you wanna add some fun to your workday or experiment with new features, check out our themes and hacks. To download mobile apps for Android and iOS, go to the App Store or Play Store. Use the same account information. Asana is built for teams and is simple enough for every team to use. I'll show you how to get your teammates into your organization so you can start working together. A team is any group of people who are working together on a collection of projects. Once your team joins Asana, your team page is the main destination for that team. You can view or add team projects, team conversations, and team members here. 
Here's how you invite someone to a team in Asana. This is also a good place to remove team members or add guests to your team. Your team members on this list can see the public projects within this team. If you invite people to your organization or team, they will be either members or guests. Guests do not have the same level of access. People that share an email domain with everyone else in the organization, in other words, your coworkers, are members. Member permissions can be adjusted at a team or project level. If you do not have the same email domain, you will be added as a guest to the specific team, project, or task that you are invited to, and not be able to see anything else. In premium organizations, you can add unlimited guests. Your team can communicate directly in Asana, right where you work. If you want to share ideas, team updates, or announcements, start a team conversation. If your team starts talking about next steps or action items, just create a task right from this conversation. Keeping your team, your work, and your communication connected is simple in Asana. Projects and tasks are the building blocks of Asana. I'll show you how to use them to track your work. When you have a deadline to hit, an initiative to kick off, or need to make a shared list of tasks, create a project. Just use the quick add button. Add your project name. Make this as specific as possible. Describe your project so your teammates know what type of tasks it will be used for. If you have a project goal or high level details, this is a good place to share them. Select which team will be working on this project. If multiple teams will be working on it, Pick the team the majority of the people are on. Don't worry, other people in the organization can still access it. If you are in a premium organization, you have the option to make the project private. In this case, people who aren't following the project can't see anything in it. Your project has different views, list, conversations, calendar, progress, and files. We will go into more detail later on views, but we'll move forward with the basic list view for now. When you add members to a project, they will be notified when tasks are created or the project status is updated. You can add or remove members anytime. Break down your project into tasks, the pieces of work required to complete the project. The fastest way to add tasks to a project you are working out of is to treat this just like a list in a text document. Just press enter to keep adding tasks. To add another level of organization to your projects, create sections. Sections are groups of tasks within a project. Sections can be used for stages, priority levels, or classifications. A quick way to add sections is to put a colon at the end of any task name. You can drag and drop tasks to reorder them or move them within sections. To add information to a task, use the task details pane. I'll walk you through the anatomy of a task. The project and section name tell you where this task lives. Here's a quick way to move your task to another section in a project without having to drag or leave the task details pane. Add a description about the work that needs to get done. Assign the task to the person who is responsible for moving this task forward. Add a due date so expectations are clear. You can add more granularity with a due time and also have the option to set a recurring due date. Show appreciation, excitement, or approval by clicking the heart on a task. Use tags to keep track of your work across multiple projects. Tags help show priority, urgency, or categorization across your teams. Use subtasks to break a task into smaller pieces or to assign part of the work to someone else. Subtasks, like tasks, can have assignees and due dates. 
Add attachments to include files relevant to this task. You can add attachments from your computer or these other file sharing tools. For more task options, click the drop-down menu. You can convert a task to a project, copy a task, delete a task, and more. To comment back and forth about a task, use task conversations. Undo a comment if you typed too quickly. You can heart comments to show support or pin the most important comment to the top. To see a record of changes to the task description, due date, or assignee, look in the task activity feed. One of the best things about Asana is that you can opt in and opt out of task updates anytime. This is our solution to the never-ending email chain of forward CCs and BCCs. Add or remove task followers when you want to involve a teammate. Each person listed here will get notifications in their inbox when an activity happens on this task. If you loop someone with an app mention in the description or comments, they will automatically become a follower as well. One final thing to note, you can create tasks that aren't in projects. If you have a quick to-do for yourself or a reminder for a teammate, just use the quick add button. But we recommend putting tasks in projects most of the time. They are easier to find and keep track of this way. Projects and tasks are the building blocks of Asana. Now that you understand the basics, you can start using them to track all of your work. Projects are more than just lists of tasks. They hold all of the information necessary to move a project forward and get things done. Project names and descriptions give your team the high-level information. You can edit these anytime. For a simple list of tasks, go to List View. Check Tasks Off, move tasks between sections, or click into Task Details. To reorder or sort your list, go to your Preferences. You can sort tasks by assignee or by popular tasks and save a default view for your team. If you want to have a high-level conversation about the entire project, not about one task specifically, start a project conversation. It's a great place to ask for a high-level input, ask a question, or talk through challenges. If someone mentions an action item or next step, just create a task directly from this conversation. Tasks with due dates automatically show up on your project calendar, so you know what's coming up. To change a due date, just drag a task on the calendar. To see or provide a project status update, go to Progress View. Mark green, yellow, or red, depending on how your project is progressing. Then provide a quick written status summary. The progress chart is created automatically and shows you how many tasks have been completed and how many are left to do. All files, photos, and documents added to any task or subtask in this project will show up in the files view. It's like a gallery. Find any attachment quickly without having to dig through your task details. When all of the tasks in your project are complete, archive the project and move on to the next big thing. My Tasks is your to-do list. It shows you all the tasks assigned to you by a teammate or that you've created yourself. Your tasks are divided into sections for you. New tasks, today, upcoming, and later. When tasks get assigned to you, they show up in new. To stay organized and plan your day, your week, or even your month, move them to the correct section or priority level by dragging or by using your handy keyboard shortcuts. Tab Y for today. Tab U for upcoming. And Tab L for later. This is a great way to prioritize in addition to due dates. Things with a due date of today will automatically go to the today section midnight the day before it's due.
My Inbox is an activity feed for all of the work you are following. Think of it as your notification center and use it to stay on top of your team's progress. When you click on a notification, you can take action on it right away in the details pane without having to go into the appropriate project. Once you have read or taken action on the notification, you can archive it by clicking on the X. If you are getting too many updates about things you don't need to know, you just unfollow the task or remove yourself as a project member. Once you get into the habit of routinely checking my inbox, you can disable activity emails, meaning no more email notifications from Asana. With Inbox, you know what your team is doing and can take action right away, so you can get back to your My Tasks list. Conversations are how you communicate in Asana. They help you move work forward. Start conversations in Asana on any team, project, or task. When you want to communicate with an entire team, but not about a specific project or task, go to your team page to have a team conversation. Team pages are the hub for all team activity. Use team conversations in Asana instead of sending an email blast to a distribution list. All members of your team will be notified in their inbox. You may use team conversations for an overall weekly review, to announce a promotion or a new member to your team, or to update team members on cross-functional plans. At mention teammates and they will automatically become a follower of the conversation. All members of your team will see the new conversation in their inbox. Team members can opt in or out of further updates by following or unfollowing the conversation. When you want to have a conversation about multiple tasks or an entire project, start a project conversation. Use project conversations to ask open-ended questions, brainstorm ideas, or to make decisions that move multiple tasks forward. These conversations can be turned directly into actionable next steps. Just create a task. When you want to ask a question, provide context, or share an opinion about a task, have a conversation directly in the task details pane. This way, the communication about work is always visible to everyone involved, and you don't have to bounce between tools or views. When conversations are with your work in one place, your team will spend less time searching for context and information. You'll have more time to get work done. Dashboards provide a high-level view of everything that is being tracked and communicated about in Asana. When you're trying to stay on top of multiple projects or want to share what's going on with a manager or executive, use dashboards. Dashboards are fully customizable and you can subscribe to a weekly dashboard digest email. Add any project to your dashboard to see a progress chart and status update. Just make sure project owners update the status each week in the project progress view. Premium organizations can have as many projects on their dashboard as they need. They are not limited to three. Search allows you to find any task, project, or conversation your team is working on. Use this when you can't find the team, project, or task you're looking for in the sidebar or main pane. When you want to see a list of many tasks that match a certain criteria, use Advanced Search. We've created a few Advanced Search views for you. These are useful for knowing where work you've assigned stands and to see everything that is relevant to you in a list. You can customize Advanced Search. For example, you might want to find all the tasks assigned to people on your team that are due this week. 
so you know what to follow up with your team on and where you might want to step in and lend a hand. When you search using that criteria, it gives you a list of all the outstanding tasks your teammates have within that time frame. To get a sense of each team member's workload, you can change the search view to sort by assignee. Now you can see how many tasks are assigned to each person. To save this search view, you can add it to your favorites and rename it so you can return to it often to get the dynamic results with that search criteria anytime. That was just one example, but advanced search is a powerful tool for creating custom reports of work that is finished or still left to do. Keeping related information connected is simple in Asana. It's basically a database of all your work. You can create a hyperlink for almost anything. Mention people, projects, and tasks in a text field, like a conversation or task description. Type an at symbol, which opens up a quick search to find any object in Asana. Press enter to create a link to this object. If you are a Facebook user, this is very similar to mentioning a friend in a post. For example, Mention a teammate in a task comment to make it clear that you want them to respond and add them as a task follower. In a project conversation, you can provide an update on a short list of related tasks that your team can immediately click into for more detail. Another way to keep information connected is having tasks live in multiple projects. To add this task to the second project, click and then start typing the name of that project. If you update or complete the task in either of the projects, it will show up as updated or complete in both projects. Meaning, no matter what project you access the task from, it will look the same. It's not a duplicate. One task can live in multiple places. You can take action on multiple tasks at once in Asana to save time. Select multiple tasks by clicking on the first task, holding shift, and clicking on the last one. After multi-selecting, you can do any basic action. Mark them all complete or incomplete, change the assignee, due date, tags or followers, or drag them to another part of the list. Keyboard shortcuts make working in Asana and keeping your team updated simpler. We have a keyboard shortcut for all of the major actions in Asana. Access a complete list in the help menu. Here are a few favorites. Tab Q for quick add. Tab M to assign to me. Tab F to add followers. Tab H to hard a task. Tab Y to mark a task for today. Tab X to focus on just the right pane. This is great for presentations. Tab delete to get rid of a task. But don't worry, if you delete by accident, you can still find any deleted task in Asana quickly. You can even undelete something removed by mistake, which will restore it to its original location. We want you to have more time to work on the things you care about. These little features add up to a faster experience in Asana. Once you understand the basics of Asana, the views, and how to keep work connected, you can use Asana for almost anything. If your team has a looming deadline, create a project that breaks down the work into tasks. This makes it clear what needs to happen to hit your due date. 
delegate work by assigning tasks, adjust due dates, and update the team on your progress to keep everyone on the same page. Projects can be used to track and reference high-level company goals. This will help teammates see how their work fits in and why it matters. Add your goal task from the company goals project to a team project to see how your tasks are helping you achieve your goal. This is a great use of adding tasks to multiple projects. Roadmap projects give a high level view of the work your team has coming up. Use sections to organize work by time period or by priority level. To schedule and track your team's milestones and plans, create a roadmap project and include tasks that are currently being worked on, upcoming tasks, and a backlog of tasks that need to be prioritized later, or use time periods like quarters. This also works well for bug tracking. Create a bug tracking project and organize bugs your team needs to fix by priority level. We recommend using sections such as P1, P2, and P3, though your naming conventions should align with what you've predetermined with your team and how you prioritize tasks. When tasks go through a specific process or move through multiple stages, you can create a pipeline project. Create a pipeline for any workflow or process, including blog, recruiting, and sales pipelines. Use sections to represent stages in the recruiting process. Create a task for each applicant, attach resumes and cover letters right into the task. The candidate will move through sections of the project as they progress in the interview process from referrals to interviewing and finally to the offer stage. One of my favorite use cases for projects is meeting agendas. Create an Asana project for every meeting, whether it's a one-time meeting or a weekly event. As you think of topics you'd like to discuss, add agenda items to the project as tasks or add existing tasks to the project. Since tasks can live in multiple projects, you won't have to duplicate them. Include a section of topics you discuss every meeting with recurring or standing tasks. Mark tasks complete as they are discussed, or assign follow-up work to the appropriate teammate. We recommend creating and assigning tasks during the meeting as you agree on next steps. This will ensure every teammate knows what to do next as soon as they leave the meeting. Tasks in Asana don't always have to be actionable, meaning it's okay if certain tasks never get completed. A good example is a project that serves as an internal library. Make a task for every document, article, or important piece of information and share it with all new employees or team members. These are just a few of the ways you can use Asana with your team. Asana can accommodate all the different ways your team works and you can find more workflow information on the guide. Asana is always free for teams of up to 15 people. But if you want to run larger teams or even your whole company on Asana, the premium version gives you extra features and benefits to help you do that. For example, with Asana Premium, you can create private projects. This means only you or select teammates can access the tasks within the project. Try using them for one-on-one -on -one meetings or for special projects that you want to keep confidential. You can also customize the permission settings on Teams. Choose to make your team public to the organization, membership by request, or hidden. Hidden teams are by invitation only and not discoverable through search. Use hidden teams for management or HR teams or other working groups that need privacy. Often, work isn't just completed by an in-house team. As a premium member, you'll never be charged for guests from outside of your company. So invite as many contractors, partners, vendors, or clients as you need. You can invite guests to one team or project where they'll only have access to the work that's relevant to them. 
guests can always be added to private projects and hidden teams as well. As your team grows and work gets more complex, unlimited dashboards can help you stay on top of everything at a glance. If you're trying to share a big picture view with an executive, dashboards are especially useful. In a premium organization, administration is centralized. An admin can remove members, view all guests, see which members are active, and require authentication through Google accounts or SAML. To upgrade to Asana Premium or to expand the number of members you have on Premium, go to the Settings menu or Contact Sales. Asana connects with many other tools which expands how you use Asana. We have a robust API and many developers have built apps or integrations that work with Asana. If you're a developer, visit asana.com slash developers for more information. Some tools were built specifically for Asana to deepen functionality. If you're looking for new ways to visualize your projects and tasks or love to use Gantt charts within your team, try Instagant. You can schedule tasks in a timeline, track progress against baselines, easily track workloads, visualize subtask hierarchies, and set start dates and dependencies. Asana also works with tools you already use. If you use Sunrise or want more Asana calendaring functionality, you can connect Asana to Sunrise. You can see your Asana tasks along with all your other calendar events. Due times make the Sunrise integration even more useful, and you can also edit tasks right from Sunrise. Slack is a useful group chat tool, and they offer a seamless Asana integration. Receive updates in a Slack channel when an Asana task is created, completed, or commented on. Or if you're in Slack, use the slash command slash Asana to mention tasks, create and assign tasks, complete a task, or add a comment. Inside Asana, you can add attachments from your file sharing tool of choice, including Dropbox, Google Drive, and Box. These attachments will show up directly on a task and in files view on any project. These are just a few of our integrations. To learn more, visit asana.com apps. For information about Asana, go to the guide, the place to learn how Asana works. The guide is organized into sections. Workshops include basics and do more, which walk you through setting up Asana and expanding your use of Asana to include more projects and teams. Resources include a help section, which is like a knowledge base and provides details about how to use each feature. Find this demo video again and other things to watch in the video section. Contact Asana support from the guide or from the help menu in the product. Looking for more ways to personalize Asana? Try enabling hacks here. Two of our favorite hacks are Team Celebrations Box to give you some extra excitement when your teammates complete a task and Create a Reminder Task, which allows you to make a task from any inbox story. Outside of the product, to stay updated on the most current product and company news, go to blog.asana.com. On WorkStyle, we share lessons, ideas, and stories about teamwork and leadership. Subscribe to receive emails when a new post is published. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Asana. I hope this video is useful and that you'll share it with your team. We look forward to seeing what your team achieves with Asana.